What's up, everybody? Welcome to the truck. Welcome to your weekly update with me, Pastor JD. I've got a couple cool things to let you know. It's my job for the next few minutes if you hang with me to let you know what's going on at North City. What is not going on Sunday is our community dinner. You probably picked this up, but we are taking a pause from our community dinner this Sunday. We are declaring a Sabbath. Uh, someone pointed out to me that we've done this three years in a row where we've taken a break before we've launched into fall, and I love that. Our community uh, is a community that wants to have practices of rest, and this Sunday is one of those times where we're taking a practice of rest. So. I really encourage you to use this opportunity. Rest does not mean doing nothing. Um, even though we won't be having a gathering, I encourage you to maybe take the space to think about what a rhythm of rest looks like for you this fall, what Sabbath looks like for you this fall. Fall is a great time to put an anchor in your calendar uh, to stop, to stop and delight in who God is. And so maybe there's even a practice this Sunday uh, you can do uh, that helps you delight in who God is. I know that uh, community dinners are normally part of that practice for all of us. Even though we're not having one this Sunday, it's a great opportunity to create some space to maybe do something you haven't done in a while. So for me, I love to connect with God through nature and be outdoors. So that's one of the things that I'll be doing this weekend is experiencing God through being outside. And maybe uh, uh, that's something that you can do too. Maybe it's sitting down reading a book. Maybe it's creating expended, extended time to pray. Maybe it's uh, creating time to be with a friend, to have a conversation about Jesus or something like that. What does it look like for you to connect with God? What does it look like for you to stop and Sabbath? Um, not just this Sunday, but for the rest of the year. I know by us being at five o'clock starting September 12th, hopefully every week beyond that point, many of you have said since we've moved to this five o'clock uh, time frame, you've discovered new habits or rhythms of Sabbath on Sunday mornings instead of like piling the kids into the car or jumping in the shower real quick and scrambling off to church Sunday morning. It's been a lot slower. It's been a lot uh, more like a Sabbath for you. So embrace that and maybe do some planning for that this fall. Speaking of this fall, hello September. Here we are. It's September today. Here are some things that are coming up beyond or into next week. First of all, uh, we've got our Emotionally Healthy Spirituality te Teaching uh, time uh, for this fall starting September 9th, our first in-person teaching time. And there's a little detail shift you need to know about. We're going to have that at the Commons, uh, and we're going to do that going forward. I think we'll be meeting at the Commons until something shifts. So September 9th, we're meeting at the Commons. Hey, if you're going to do that, please, please, please register because I've got something to send you. Uh, part of the registration is we're going to buy you a book, you know, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality Day by Day to enhance your experience in learning. So it just gives us a, more, a little more lead time. I know Amazon is pretty quick with its deliveries, but uh, it gives us more time to get that book to you uh, before September 9th. So if you haven't registered yet, please do so. There's probably a link below this video or um, in previous videos, if you're like, emotionally healthy spirituality, why are we doing that? What the, what's that all about? Look at the previous videos. I'm super excited about this, you guys, because we've got a great lineup of teachers for that. Uh, I've got myself, Pastor Christian Ann. We've got Laura Van Norman. Maybe you've met her around the community dinner tables uh, this summer, but she's a pastor. Uh, sort of in between churches right now and she is so wise. I'm so excited for her to teach for this. We've also got uh, Pastor Dale DeRee who's a campus pastor and dean or associate dean over at Bethel University whose voice we're going to hear from. We've got Adobe and Duca whose voice I know you all are uh, very familiar with. Used to be on staff with North City and now is on staff fully at Mill City but still coming uh, and joining in that process to give some of her wisdom and teaching gifting to us. And we also have uh, Pastor Edwin Williams from Sanctuary Covenant Church, a sister church of ours in North Minneapolis who we get to learn from as well as a part of that process. So I'm really stoked for it. I think it's gonna be a really great journey. Please sign up if you haven't. Here's what else is coming up in September. 
We're gonna try to go uh, weekly here starting September 12th. That's our second birthday, so come celebrate. North City's turning two. What a wild two years it's been. What a, a, a amazing things God's done in those two years. So help us celebrate by coming September 12th. Invite friends, family. It'll be a fun sort of celebratory community dinner. We'll still be doing all the community dinner things that we normally do, but we'll, it'll just be a little bit more celebratory because we're turning two, y'all. And then after that, we're going weekly. Uh, we're going every week dinner, dinner church at five right here i'm about to drive by it actually weber park um and we'll be outside as long as minnesota allows us to um because that's a great way to meet neighbors and everybody feels empowered to participate outside so uh mark your calendars for that and then uh this is also very exciting we've got another worship night coming up at the mill city commons later in september september 23rd i believe check me on the date it's the fourth thursday uh, at 7.30, Kara is creating a worship night for you, an hour of just worshiping God right there at the Mill City, Mill City Church Commons. It's important when you Google Mill City Commons. There's another Mill City Commons in a different part of Northeast. Google Mill City Church Commons for the address. Make sure you got the church in there. Um, so that's going to happen. Oh my goodness. Can I just tell you about a couple other things we've got going uh, on the horizon here? October 2nd is going to be another drive-in movie night, so mark your calendar. That'll be fun with the kids. That's a Saturday at Brookdale's parking lot. Drive-in movie night with the kids. Oh man, I buried the lead on this video, so if you're hanging with me, you get one of the funnest announcements. We have another person joining our staff team, another Bethel student, uh, this time from the undergrad. Uh, his name is Jimmy. I'm so excited for you to meet him. He's going to be there September 12th. He's joining our staff as another North City intern, um, and he's going to be doing a number of different things uh, as well, mostly just giving him an experience in a very unique ministry environment. So uh, you'll see more info about who Jimmy is in uh, the email that maybe you have just got that you're watching this video from. So exciting stuff happening at North City. We're so excited to jump into this rhythm. Not this weekend, but what did I say? <coughs> September 12th. We're back at it with community dinners. So if you've got any questions about our calendar or if you see something that's not correct in our communication, you know who to call. Uh, let me know. Um, I'm so excited for the ways that we're empowering each other to love our neighbors in the way of Jesus. See you all later.